Do either of you two have any rejection horror stories? Like? You two rejecting a male. Any horror stories into rejecting a male? I just don't talk to him. Like, it's, okay, okay. I've rejected a male, and he's he have like constantly blew my phone up after I rejected him. Like I was just like, oh my god, I have to change my number. Like why are you blowing me up? I told you I don't want you like that. Like why you can't just be the homies? They keep blowing you up. They keep right. trying to come, trying to come. I'm like, no, just be the just be one of the bros, one of the guys. Please. Why are you trying to be lovey dovey? Sure. And then try to keep on coming. That's a real story. Like I just hate it. But that's as far as it's gotten for you, just uh, being blown up on the phone, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, just blown up on the phone. Make me want to change my number. Now, circumstances could be different for everyone, so generally speaking here, but what would you say, again, either of you two say to other females in regards to rejecting a male's advances? Mm. Just, what do you mean, like rejecting him? Yes. Anything you would say to a female when it comes to rejecting a male's advances? Any advice, any tips on that end of the spectrum? I feel like it's good to just block people and leave people alone. Like, if you don't want them in your life no more, block them. Just leave them alone. If they call from unknown, call or ID, unknown, whatever the fuck, change your number. If you don't want to change your number, block them again. Just keep blocking them. Don't answer. Because if you answer, they get comfortable. Don't never let nobody get comfortable and... You know, look here, this not that. That's all you got to let them know. This not that. Anything else you want to mention about this subject or question you weren't asked, people want to know about any of this stuff? Mm, no, not really. And the reason asking you these questions is because there have been some news headlines about some Bad rejection story, so just curious. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. A female rejecting a male. And, and he gets mad. And there might be an assault, assault of some sort. Right. Or, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know if you two have experience. experienced any of that before. I interviewed someone and they... Well, I did uh, reject somebody and they pulled up and they was in my closet. And then once I walked upstairs, I was scared. I looked in my closet. <laughs> so was. It was and at then, nighttime. Yes, it was in my closet, in my house. I don't know how they got in the door or none of that. They was oh, in my, I, I did. Swear to oh, God, they was in my closet. I forgot. I did reject somebody and he pulled up to my mama house. <laughs> <laughs> don't pull up to my mama house. What is wrong with you? <laughs> well, how did that story end? Oh, I was talking to you off camera. I don't know if you want to talk about it on camera mm -hmm. or you want to keep it off camera. We're talking to her on camera. Okay. How did that, how did that whole situation end? So I pulled up from my home. This is a boy that I rejected. I told him I don't want him no more. Can we, you know, like, can you just stop messing with me, bothering me? So I, pu I go home. It's like it's time to go home. It's like in the middle of the night, probably like around 10, 11. It was dark outside. It was not like a little light outside. It was dark. So I walk inside, and then I go inside my room. I see him in my closet. Like, I open my door, and I'm like, <gasps> And I scream. I scream. My mama ain't like, Mom, it's money in my closet. So I run. Because this person that's in my closet, I don't want you in my closet. I rejected you. He was in the closet. You was in my closet, <laughs> but I rejected you. We already had these conversations of not to be, you know, don't talk to me no more. <laughs> so when he was in my closet, he ran downstairs. <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, I'm going to get myself going to go to go. Now I'm heading to... My boyfriend. You should have found a restraining order, baby. Yeah, I had it to my boyfriend's house, and he's following the car. So now I got my uncle in the car with me, but my <coughs> uncle's in the car with me. My uncle got his little, you know, his little pow pow, little 2022. So my uncle, like, what's, like, why you keep following me, you know? Like, it just happened from there, and he stopped following me because my uncle handled it. Do you know how this person even gained access into your? Residence at the at the time? No, I don't know how he got in. <laughs> and he was in my closet, and I was scared. I was, I'm not even lying. Yeah, I know and it's a true story. It's based on a true story. Yeah, if this person see this, they're gonna be like, "She talking about me? I was in the closet." <laughs> yeah, you, you you was in my closet, and it's some weird. For real, don't go in my closet, bro. Like, 
<laughs> was he folded up in your closet? Like folded up, or he was, was he like, standing up? He was like, Push, and then he was like in the closet. <laughs> and when I when I was walking in, because he heard me coming up the stairs, he had to hear me, so he mm -hmm. peeped out the closet. Like, okay, she finna come in her room, but I ain't going all the way in my room. I screamed because I seen him. And when I screamed, my mama came, and I was like, oh, yeah, that was crazy to me. Remember what age this was in your life? I was like 20, 19. No, not 20. 19. Like 18. 19. 18. 19. Because I think I was like it 17. It was two years ago, wasn't it? Maybe. Yeah. 19. 19. Did either of you two want to add anything to this conversation in regards to this whole topic of rejection? Mm. Mm -mm. Just reject them. Mm. 